Well, first of all, let me say how very proud I am of the airmen uh, at Robbins Air Force Base. Uh, we have a highly skilled uh, uh, military force there and also civilians in the area. And as the Air Force makes the transitions that we fully expect in the uh, years to come, we want to make sure that our country is making full use of the incredible human capital uh, both military and civilian on the base, uh, that Robbins uh, maintains the vital posture that it's always held in securing our national defense, and that therefore we, and, and by doing, we secure uh, the economic future of the region. Well, it's a point that I keep making, and I've been making it uh, both to uh, Secretary Roth when he was in place, and now Secretary Kendall. Uh, I've written letters to them. I've spoken with them face to face. I've been there on the base as I visit uh, military bases all across our state. Um, we have an incredible uh, human resource uh, sitting there on the base. And as we look at the future of our country's national security, um, there are no better and brighter and more well-trained men and women than those we see at Robbins Air Force Base. They are a part of the legacy of our national security and uh, they ought to be a part of, of the future. And so we, we want to make sure that we stay in touch with the leadership uh, at the Air Force uh, and to make sure that Georgia is on everybody's mind. Yeah, it's the reason why we wrote the letter in the first place is to make sure uh, that as transitions take place, as they will, um, that the Air Force is making full use of the incredible jewel uh, and resource that, uh, Air, that Robbins Air Force Base represents and uh, the men and women who serve there. Uh, men and women I've had a chance to meet and talk to up close. Uh, they love their country. They take a great deal of pride in defending our country and I take a great deal of pride and representing them as well as the civilian force that supports the base. It's the reason why not only am I pushing to make sure that as legacy systems um, are sunsetted, uh, that we still have a place in the future of uh, these systems. I, I also have built the kind of coalition, bipartisan coalition, necessary, for example, to have I-14 named uh, a critical uh, or priority corridor. We want to see this interstate built out. And I'm committed to it enough that I connected with Ted Cruz, with whom I don't often agree, uh, in order to make sure that uh, I-14 is, is labeled a priority corridor. This connects our military installations, including uh, Robbins Air Force Base, our technology sector, uh, I have fought to make sure that uh, the base gets uh, critical upgrades in terms of its buildings and its infrastructure and investments in the amazing AI and other technology that's happening right there in Warner Robins, Georgia. I couldn't be prouder and uh, I have the great honor of making sure uh, that it maintains its strong position in our national defense. What I can assure you is that I will keep making the case. And uh, I will continue to, to lead and pull together others of my colleagues. We have uh, other members of the Georgia delegation uh, who are working uh, together to make sure this happens on both sides of the aisle uh, because we understand uh, how important this really is for our national defense. It's important for uh, the men and women who serve and it's very important for the economy of the region.